This is just for you tonight. This song is by Blessing Offer. I don't own the rights to this music, of course. Um, but I pray that the blessing of the Lord be added to you in this quick teaching and that you be enriched and no sorrow be added. Yeah, beautiful song. Tonight, I want to quickly teach you how to overcome insecurity in your relationship. Um, this is February 2022, the love month, right? Valentine's Day. So please share, tag a friend in the broadcast. We are going to talk about it tonight. Really quick before my next client, I want to share this with you. Something that the Lord has kind of laid on my heart that I know will bless you. So please um, tell somebody about the broadcast. Invite them actually to the group so that they can also be enriched. So with that being said, we're going to get right in. So Heavenly Father, we come before you in Jesus' name, asking that you bless this time of love, asking that you repair any breaches and any bridges that have been torn down or that have been hurt or harmed in our relationships, Father. I thank you for each and every man, woman, child, boy, and girl who will listen to this broadcast or catch the replay, Father. I ask that you fill their hearts with love because, God, you are love. You are the perfect love, and we know that your perfect love casts out fear, but it also cast out anxiety. It cast out rejection. It cast out abandonment. And yes, Lord, it cast out insecurity. So Father, we ask that you do these things. Lord, we seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. We ask that you be our rear guard in Jesus name. Amen. <coughs> Pardon me. Mm. So mm. we are going to quickly talk about some steps for overcoming insecurity overcoming insecurity. So let me just give you a little bit of background information. Um, we learn to be insecure based on what we've taken or been taught from our families, right? Our family of origin or where you grew up, the people that you grew up with and what they tell you and through the experiences that you've had in your life. These things will teach you insecurities, right? So for example, fear is a natural response to perceptions of threats to our well-being, right? Or our prosperity for success. Fear manifests itself through anxiety, panic attacks, phobias, post-traumatic syndrome disorder, right? And obsessions or compulsions, right? Um, and you say, well, what do you mean obsessions? I'm not obsessed with anybody. I'm not even obsessed with him or her, Tabitha. No, but you may have obsessive compulsive disorder, right? So that's another obsession. You are maybe obsessed with cleanliness, obsessed with different things, right? Or orderliness. So um, because we are limited, the more we rely on ourselves, the more we will be insecure. So in our human DNA, we were not meant to um, be all self-sufficient, all fulfilling to ourselves, right? We're meant to lean and rely on God. And so because of that, we are limited. We can't fulfill our own needs. So faith in God is truly the answer to the insecurity. Faith in God is the opposite of fear. The Bible teaches us that without fear, it is, or I'm sorry, without faith, it is impossible to please God, right? So we must have faith. We must walk by faith and not by sight, right? And so we must establish a close, intimate relationship with God in order to trust him more than our fears. In order to trust God more than our fears, we must establish a close and intimate relationship with him. And so the more we concentrate on our problems and fears, the more we magnify them. And I, I, I pray that this is blessing someone. The more we concentrate on our fear, the more we concentrate on our problems, the more they grow in strength. 
right? That whole idea that, that we magnify the Lord, oh, magnify the Lord, right? For he is worthy to be praised. That is that we are focusing on him. We are magnifying him. We're praising him. And so the same concept applies to our problems or our issues. The more we magnify the problem, the more we magnify the fear, the bigger it gets. And here's the other part. The more we do that, the more we become like that, right? So the more we magnify God, the more we praise God, the more we become like him. And so I want you to keep that in mind because the more we focus on God, the more our faith in him grows and we overcome our fears. We overcome our insecurities. We overcome abandonment, rejection, judgment, criticism, all of those things. So we have to face our fears. That's one of the key ways. Facing our fears is the most effective way to overcome them. This is why you hear people saying things like, you know, um, if you face, you know, maybe you have a phobia of spiders or snakes or water or whatever it is, right? But if you face it, you can overcome it, right? So facing them systematically a little bit at a time, right? Not to be thrown into something, but facing it a little bit at a time is an effective method for overcoming all types of insecurities. And so, you know, if you're insecure, maybe even about your body or about your voice or something, some part of you, right? The way you can become more comfortable with it is maybe you go and you take it a little bit at a time. That's how you overcome. And God promises this, that if we put our trust in him, he will never... We'll never be tempted beyond what we're able, beyond what we're able to do, right? And he will protect us from any catastrophe. God will protect us. He promises that he'll never leave us or forsake us, right? And because when people are left, they have abandonment issues and then thereby attachment issues, right? And so often we'll attach to the wrong type of person. Um, we even become detached, right, from what we really need because we are trying to self-protect and self-preserve. So this is a thing. So therefore, let me say this, the answer for overcoming insecurity is to abandon our own pride and self-reliance. I have to abandon relying totally on me. And this is so opposite of what the world teaches, but I'm going to come back and teach that in another lesson. Um, and we have to face our fears through faith in God. These are the ways that we overcome insecurity and that faith in God will provide for all of our needs and keep us safe in every situation. And then lastly, winning the victory over fear is key to achieving an abundant life. It's key to achieving an abundant life that is filled with peace and happiness and joy. That's how we overcome the insecurity. We have to continue to build this relationship of intimacy right with God so that we trust him more than our fear and so that we continue to grow our faith the Bible teaches us that we go from glory to glory and faith to faith and so I want you to know that you can rely on God you can trust him and that he's going to be there to provide all of your needs he's going to protect you and you can rely on him in every situation he's the only person who doesn't sleep or slumber right he's always gonna be there and so you know that you can go to him and so i want you to really uh just cleave to that that god is there he won't leave you he won't forsake you and he's going to help you overcome every obstacle that has gotten in your way whether it's from your childhood or from an experience in your adulthood god and your faith in him is the answer his love is abundant and his love is without fail his love is unconditional always there no matter what so rely and trust in him i'm prophetess tabitha pittman and i'll talk to you soon god bless you and have a wonderful night